Hello, and welcome to the C2 Online Bookkeeper's Quote walkthrough demo. In this short video, we're going to show you how Bookkeeper's Quote works, and we're going to create a quote really quick. So the first thing I'm going to do is log in. And there we go. We're logged in. And the first thing you'll see here is a link for the downloads page. And as a C2 Online subscriber, you have access to uh, many of C2 Online's uh, tools and templates uh, that will help you with your bookkeeping needs. Down here is the Bookkeeper's Quote link and this will take you directly to Bookkeeper's Quote to create a new quote and you'll also find a link to it right here. So I'm going to click that and we'll jump to Bookkeeper's Quote. So here we are. This is the home page for Bookkeeper's Quote called My Quotes and the first thing we're going to do here right now is create a quote. So I'm going to click New Quote. And you'll see that brings us to this page called Quote Details. And here we can uh, create a quote for a client that we've already entered into the system. We just simply select them from the list here or we can create a new client. So I'm going to create a new client and I'll just click here. And here we fill out the information for our new client. So I'm just going to do that with the magic of the internet and some editing here. And there we go. I've got it all filled out. I'll click Save New Client. And you'll see that that new client is now populated into this list here. So I'm going to give my quote a description, which is a required field. There we go. And you'll notice that the quote date is already filled in here. And you also have a box for fiscal year end date, which you can change according to your client. So I'm going to scroll down here now to this section here called Step 1, Profile Your Client. And in this section, we collect a lot of information uh, regarding this specific client. And you'll see that a lot of these values already have defaults set. And these defaults are based on uh, existing experienced bookkeeper information. So uh, they're a great starting point, uh, but you can adjust them if you need to. Um, I'll draw your attention to the first three uh, rows here. This is where you can enter your hourly rate for your standard bookkeeping. Uh, this here is an hourly rate for year-end and compliance assurance rate, if that's different. And you also have a spot here for any applicable sales tax. And with all of these questions, you'll notice that there is a little uh, help icon. And when you mouse over it, you'll get more information about each question. So you fill this out uh, according to your client's needs. Uh, it may change, but the default values are pretty good in a lot of cases. And when you're done Section 1, you will click Next. And that will bring us to Step 2, Client Bookkeeping Interview. Now here, uh, there are no default values here, so you are going to have to enter these in according to your client's, uh, client's needs. And again, you have the uh, mouse overs to give you some help information on each of these questions. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to enter some values in here really quickly. And there we go. So once I've got that complete, I'll click Next. And that brings us to Step 3, Client Operating Accounts. So in this section, uh, we enter the accounts that uh, the client has. Uh, and you'll see Step 1 here, Statement Accounts. Uh, number two, non-statement accounts, number three, investment loan and lease accounts, and number four, insurance name. And again, these all have, you know, help icons over them that'll give you a little more information about what these do. So I'm going to enter some accounts in here really quickly. And there we go. I've got my client's accounts in there, and now I'm going to click Done. And this will bring me to the finished quote. So we now have a quote and you'll see this has the name of my bookkeeping company or your bookkeeping company and uh, all my uh, information as well as it displays the hourly rate, the year-end rate, how many months are in this report, how many papers are generated, uh, has the date and an ID and you'll see in this section here all of the information you entered is now categorized and uh, put into various columns for period and non-period and totaled for you. So you can scroll through these and I won't get into the details about each one of them but um, 
you can rest assured that it has taken into consideration just about everything you can think of. And down here we have a total, and this would be the total for this bookkeeping quote. Uh, a little further down we have an acceptance section where you can have your client sign to accept this quote. And a little further down yet, um, some of the conditions and terms that this quote is based on. And basically, that's it. We have a finished quote ready to go. Now I'm going to show you one more thing here, and that is how this will print. Uh, so you've got a print button right here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the other print on the browser so that I can get a print preview and show you what this looks like. Here you'll see when we go to print, the website wrapper goes away and you get a nice clean quote. Uh, this is page one, and page two, and page three. Very simple, very easy to use. So we'll bounce back here and I'm going to click back to home and you'll see the quote we created is right here and if I want to view the contract for that quote again I can click view contract or if I want to go edit the details for it I can click this and return to the edit screens and edit all of the step one, step two, and step three information and when I'm done I can return back to quote home and uh, review my quotes and create a new one so for now, that's it. The intention here is just to provide a short overview video of how the system works. I hope you've enjoyed it and wish you good luck. Thanks for now.